Philippines plans to buy 12 more FA-50 aircraft, acquisition of MI-17 helicopters cancelled, please like and share the video, and subscribe to the channel. The international aviation website Flight Global published an article recently about the plans of the aircraft manufacturer Korea Aerospace Industries for the sale of their FA-50 aircraft, and it was mentioned in the article that the Philippines is considering buying another 12 such aircraft, and that talks for it has already started. The Philippine Air Force had earlier said that they are considering buying more FA-50 aircraft, but they didn't mention then how many they plan to buy. The Philippines signed the contract for the acquisition of the first batch of 12 FA-50 aircraft back in 2014, and these were subsequently designated as the FA-50PH Fighting Eagle. Their delivery started in late 2015, so the Philippines has been operating these aircraft for around seven years now. They proved crucial during the Battle of Marawi in 2017 as their computerized fire control system allowed more accurate delivery of unguided bombs. As I had posted a video about before, the addition of more FA-50 aircraft may mean that the Air Force plans to use these more for their light combat aircraft role rather than as advanced trainers or lead-in fighter trainer aircraft. I hope that if the acquisition does push through, it will be for the latest Block 20 version or that they will be upgraded to have more sophisticated weapons. Meanwhile, in an exclusive interview with the Associated Press, former Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzona revealed that he had cancelled the acquisition of MI-17 helicopters from Russia with the approval of former President Rodrigo Duterte just before they left office last June 30, 2022. The deal was supposed to be for 16 MI-17 helicopters worth 12.7 billion pesos, or 227 million United States dollars using the exchange rate of 55.9 pesos per dollar. This amounted to 793 million pesos or 14.19 million dollars per helicopter. The Philippines ambassador to the United States Jose Manuel Romualdez said that the Americans had threatened to impose sanctions on the Philippines through their Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act or Katsar if the deal pushed through. The delivery of the helicopters was supposed to start next year in 2023. A contract has already been signed for the purchase of these helicopters last November of 2021, and in theory Russia could sue the Philippines for breach of contract. However, that will likely remove all remaining goodwill that both countries have with each other, so personally I hope they will not do that and will agree to some sort of settlement for the cancellation of the contract in some way. With Duterte already out of office, then this could be the end of the Philippines' pivot to Russia in terms of military weapons and equipment as it was him who had initiated this move as soon as he became president back in 2016. However, it seems to me that this pivot was met by passive-aggressive opposition by pro-American forces within the government and within his political camp itself. Without his strong personality to support it, the pivot will likely die out. The new president Bong Bong Marcos seems to be looking at other priorities rather than continue the move to buy more weapons and equipment from Russia for the military. And the pro-American forces are still entrenched within the government. At any rate, I think the Philippines can still work with Russia in other fields, and I hope they will not sue and continue developing positive relations with our country. One issue is that the Philippines had already made an initial payment for the aircraft. The value of the initial payment was not mentioned in the reports, but it could be around 25% of the contract value as had been done in previous military transactions. So that could be around $57 million. Russia is not obligated to return these to us, their obligation as per the contract is to deliver the helicopters. But they could return the money out of goodwill though, if they want. As for officially exchanging these with other things instead, I don't think Philippine law allows for that. Theoretically Russia could keep the money and donate a similar amount of items to the Philippines, but that may not be allowed by the Commission on Audit. So to summarize, the Philippine Air Force is reportedly considering buying another 12 FA-50 aircraft in addition to the 12 they already have, and the acquisition of 16 MI-17 helicopters from Russia had been cancelled just before President Duterte left office last June of 2022. Thank you for watching the video, I invite you again to like and share it, and subscribe to the channel.